InDesign users can now create and easily modify crisp, clear QR codes directly in InDesign. With InDesign CC, you can create and edit QR codes as vector objects. You can resize them without compromising quality and copy them into applications like Adobe Illustrator. Let's take a look. I've got an InDesign document open here, and before we actually put our QR code on the document, I just want to walk you through the steps of generating a QR code and some of the options you have. So I'm going to scroll over here on the pasteboard, and we're just going to create a standard frame. Uh, QR codes, like any object in InDesign, always exist inside of a frame. Now, of course, the smaller you make the frame, the smaller your QR code will be. The larger you make the frame, the larger your QR code will be. So basically make the frame the size you want the QR code to be. Now, under the object menu, I have the option, a new option, to generate QR code. So I can either do it here, or if you're like me, you use right click on your mouse and you can right click on the frame and generate QR code from there. Either way works the same. Now when you choose uh, QR code or generate QR code, you'll be taken into this dialog box where you have several options for creating your QR code. The first option is what type. You have web hyperlink, which of course is a URL, so when someone scans the code, it goes right to the website you put in. You have plain text, which kind of could be just a message that you want people to see when they scan the code. And that'll just bring up the message or text right on their screen. Maybe it's instructions for a contest or um, more details than you could list in an ad and you want people to be able to have the full text. You can also do a text message. And this is kind of cool because you can put in the phone number and the message. But of course, when people scan it and actually send the message, it'll be coming from their phone. I've seen this used a lot uh, for entering contests or just giving feedback. Email, uh, just like a text message, instead it will go to the email address that you designate from the person that's sending it, complete with the email address, subject, and message. And then last but not least, a business card. And this is where you could fill in the information of your, you know, for your contact info so that when someone scans that code, it can automatically be placed in their contacts. And that way they don't have to uh, type in your business card all over again. So this is kind of cool. I've actually seen these kinds of QR codes placed on business cards. So let's go back to web hyperlink. And again, we can just type in the URL, but I've got one on a clipboard. I'm just going to paste it in and we'll click OK. And as we see, it generated a QR code the size of the frame. Now, just for kicks, we're gonna make a new one uh, right on the page, but I just wanna go ahead and copy this one. And then we'll switch over to Illustrator. And just to prove the point that this is a vector object, so when we paste it in Illustrator, we actually see the editable vectors. Now, of course, you don't want to edit this too much because you may actually stop the code from working. But I've seen people put in like little logos and little drawings inside their QR code. And as long as you test it to make sure it still works, this will be cool. So that's a way to enhance your QR code even further using Illustrator. And again, it's vector, so you can make it whatever size you want and detail it or design it whichever way you want. Now, let's head back to InDesign. I'm going to go ahead and just delete this one because we've got a spot for a QR code already set up on our document. And we'll just head over to the document. We'll scroll down a little bit. And there's our frame waiting for the QR code that we want to put in. So we'll zoom in on it. And the frame is sitting here ready to go. And you notice that the frame is sitting on top of a green frame behind it with some white text underneath. So we kind of want to match this theme. So I'm going to right click on the QR code or right click to generate QR code. Same thing, we'll do a web hyperlink, but before we click OK, let's go to color, and we can change the color. Again, we can use uh, any of the swatches that we've already saved or that we're using throughout the document to match the colors for our document, for our QR code. So we'll click OK, and there's our QR code ready to go. And at this point, you can even test it with your smartphone. Just hold up your QR code scanner from your phone, test the code right there on screen to make sure it works. But you have it. You now have the ability to create QR codes directly in InDesign. QR code creation, just one of the new exciting features included in InDesign CC, which is available only in Creative Cloud.